Hello and welcome to another edition of Rock's Garage. I'm your host Kevin. On this episode, we're going to show you how to install a steering wheel, part number ACC SW131, with the required steering wheel adapter, part number ACC SW64B, on this 2012 EasyGo TXT. Now before getting started, we want to show you what's included with the steering wheel and the adapter, as well as all the tools necessary to perform the installation. Now here's a look at what's included with your steering wheel. You'll receive the steering wheel, as well as all the necessary mounting hardware included in this package. Now our steering wheels are available in a variety of styles and colors as seen here. Now no matter which steering wheel you choose, you'll also need a cart specific steering wheel adapter. These are available in the satin black finish that you see here, as well as a chrome and billet finish. Now that we've shown you what's included with the steering wheel, as well as the optional steering wheel adapter, let's take a look at the tools necessary to install our steering wheel. Now let's take a closer look at all of the tools that we'll be using to perform our installation. First up, we have a flathead screwdriver, a ratchet, a 3mm Allen key, 1516 socket, a small hammer or rubber mallet will do as well, and lastly, a cordless impact. Now that we've shown you all of the tools that we'll be using, we're ready to begin the installation of our steering wheel. Now our first step is going to be to remove the cover on the steering wheel. Now in order to do this, we're going to take a flathead screwdriver and we're going to depress the four tabs that are located on the back side of the steering wheel so that we can release the steering wheel cover from the steering wheel. Once we have the steering wheel cover removed, we can discard it as it will not be reused. Now before you remove the stock steering wheel, you want to be sure that the tires as well as the steering wheel are both straight. That way when you install your new steering wheel, you can be sure it will be in perfect alignment with your tires. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and remove the nut securing the steering wheel to the steering column. After that, you may need to use a hammer or a rubber mallet to release the steering wheel from the steering column. After the wheel has been removed, you can discard it as we will not reuse it. However, we will want to retain the nut as it will be reused to install our steering wheel adapter. In order to properly install your steering wheel adapter, you want to be sure that the splines on the adapter align with the splines on your steering column. Once you have your adapter in place, you want to test fit your steering wheel to make sure that it is in proper alignment with your front tires. If it doesn't line up on the first attempt, Remove the steering wheel adapter, rotate it into position again in alignment with the splines, and continue to test fit your steering wheel until you have everything in perfect position. Once you have your steering wheel adapter in the proper position, you then want to go ahead and secure it in place using the nut that we removed earlier in the process. Now that we have our steering wheel adapter secured to the steering column, the next thing that we're going to do is to install our steering wheel onto the adapter using the hardware included with your steering wheel. Once all hardware has been tightened, that will complete the installation of our steering wheel, part number ACC SW131, with the required EasyGo steering wheel adapter, part number ACC SW64B, on this 2012 EasyGo TXT. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.